Howdy do. It is a rainy, rainy day, and my buddy Bob Reese is here from Canton, Georgia. Here. Yeah. That means that we both drove up here in the rain. Pouring and down. People drive crazy in the yeah. rain, and I drive in the old lady lane now in the rain because I don't like driving in the rain. Did y'all pick up on that? Don't like driving in the rain. <laughs> but anyway, we made it here today. We are going to be talking about something that's very, very special and precious to your heart. Right. and became precious to my heart when I realized how many children in 35 years you and your precious wife have helped to have Christmas. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's amazing to me even. It is amazing. You know, God, uh, and I never would have thought it, uh, Sherry. Even it what, started when Linda worked at Walmart? Is that no. Right? No? How did uh, it start? We, we owned a sporting goods store okay. back in the 80s. And back then... The, the program came out of the Walmart employees' uh, way to, to help the kids. Mm -hmm. And it's not, it wasn't a Walmart. It was just the employees. It was just the employees. Mm -hmm. And they would bring the kids into the store and let the kids pick out their own gifts. Mm -hmm. And being a sporting goods store, we had items that, that Walmart, believe it or not, didn't have. didn't have and uh, some of the associates and the store manager came to our sporting goods store and was walking through and we knew who they were because we knew who the store manager was mm -hmm. so i just went over and asked them what are y'all doing in my store mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. you know you don't want to buy me out or what but and and they told me the story and before they ever got out of the building i mean i was in tears oh i was just tore up so I uh, went to them and asked them, could we help and get involved? And they said, sure, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's how it got started. And uh, that was 35, 35 years, 35 years ago. Yep. Yeah, we're still going. You know, it's so weird because in 35 years, I can think of the good, the, the valleys, the hilltops, the valleys, the hilltops. The economy right. has gone up and down, up and down, right. up and down. And um, as much as I want to stay positive, there's some negativity going on now. Yeah. Because sadly, people aren't accepting jobs for various reasons. But one of the reasons they're not accepting jobs is because they're being sent money right. from to Washington, D.C. not, work. DC not right. to work. And that scares me because yeah. I'm working seven days a week right. as hard and furious and fast as I can work. I'm right. 70 years old. God, I can't believe I said that on live TV. <laughs> I'm 70 years old. Holy cow. But anyway, I'm working, I'm working all the time to try to put back, put back, put back. Right. And I can remember being a single mom in Super D in downtown Jasper, Georgia. Bob, in July, I put my kids' Christmas on layaway. Yeah. And I planned to buy my kids' Christmas. Now, I've never been on drugs. I've never been homeless. I've never needed for anything that I couldn't provide for myself. So it's right. hard to say how do we end up in the situations we end yeah. up in. We know that the drug world has taken over a lot of lives. Right. And the children aren't responsible for that. Well, I, uh, our, our government is just, <laughs> to, to, to pay these people, and, and I love them, you know. More not, than they can make. Yeah, more yeah. than they can make. They'd yeah. have to make, yeah. to get the, the government's uh, unemployment, the state's unemployment, and then the child care money mm -hmm. they'd had to make close to a hundred thousand dollars a year and they're not going to make that in if a I, lot of the jobs if i could do the math and show you a family that i know very well here in gilmer county that's getting every benefit you can get their income is over eight thousand dollars a month yeah based on government handouts right eight thousand dollars a month right you know and you was right at a hundred thousand dollars yeah. yes and i, I Factual, factual. Right. Now, all of a sudden, she has a little part-time job, but she's calling in more and calling right. in more. Right. Inconvenient, can't be there, don't have a babysitter, can't do this, can't do that. And you're knowing that because if you have all this and you have every color TV Walmart ever sold and you have the new car and you have this and you have that, you don't need your job anymore. Right. That scares me to death. Right. That scares me to death. Well, over the, over the 35 years, as you say, the economy's you know, been like a roller coaster. <clears throat> but the number of kids is, has increased every year. Sure. Uh, 
the donations have been like the roller coaster. And uh, in, in the lean years, when, when the uh, donations would be down, that seemingly would be when we would really have a big spike of number of kids. So it was kind of a two-edged sword, you know, uh, but each year, uh, to my recollection, each year the number of kids increased. And I've already been talking uh, about five, six years ago, uh, the Walmart Corporation uh, stopped the employees from having the, the white Christmas uh, within the stores. Mm -hmm. So God, God just opened the door and within two weeks, uh, we were already connected with somebody else which is CASA and Children's Haven. Mm -hmm. And last year we, uh, and also Sunlight Ministries, and last year uh, we helped uh, provide for 491 kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I, sp I spoke with the lady at CASA uh, yesterday, and it's gonna be probably looking between, she's thinking between five to, Six, seven hundred kids this year. Wow! So well, that's almost double. Yeah. So we. That's almost double. Yeah. And and. Well, I'm thankful that I've had a good year, and so I always choose to donate to something, yeah. and I've chosen to make a donation to your cause, and um, I'm also, you know, um, I think about if you don't have children, if you don't have grandchildren, if you don't. Everybody can make some type of donation, whether it be ten dollars, fifty dollars, a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, whatever you can donate. Right. Every single if, if if our viewers each added five dollars to the pot, you know, yeah. that would increase the amount a yeah. bunch because right. at five hundred to six hundred children, the price of things has gone up so much. Right. So each child will get less. Right. Because the price of doing business has gone up ridiculously right. because a bicycle costs more than it did. Even coloring books and crayons cost more than they did. Right. Everything right. costs more. Well, we, we not only provide them Christmas, we do their uh, back to school, mm -hmm. uh, birthdays. So it's, a, it's an ongoing all year long uh, uh, ministry. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't, it's not just that one night. Mm -hmm. And uh, also uh, last year, we started a classic car and motorcycle bike ride mm -hmm. uh, to raise money. And, and those bikers, God bless you. I mean, yes. they are, yes. Yes. you know, they may look rough and gruff yes. and all that, but their hearts. percent of them are attorneys or doctors. So. Their hearts are just <laughs> as big as gold. I mean, yes. you know. Yes. And yeah. uh, we had a great turnout this year. I, we're hoping it's going to even be bigger, and I, th I trust God it will be. Yeah. And uh, uh, they go out and do their ride, about an hour or so ride. Uh, when they come back in, we feed them a free meal, a free lunch, uh, and Glory Bound does a concert. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's uh, it's just a, another way to raise help raise money because awesome. we need yeah. as much as we can get. Well, this year is going to be really, really exciting because on top of all the great groups, you have the greatest, the Isaacs are going to be there. Well, I am so... It's amazing. I am, it is I'm like a kid amazing. in a candy store. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as I told you before we went on the air, uh, last year, well, for about five years, we've had John R. Bowman. Mm -hmm. uh, he's he's uh, singing with Tim Moxley now as part of Shady Grove. Of course, he has his own solo he goes all over the United States solo, but last year his wife Becky and their two children came, mm -hmm. and and Mama Isaac, and uh, when John R. Uh, did his part of the program, he got Becky up there with the two kids, and they sang a song, the one I was just telling you yeah, about, yeah. that that Becky did the lead on, and ooh wee, it was. A, <laughs> Just a good old Christmas song, yeah, yeah. and it talks about the mother Mary having Jesus and going through all that pain, childbirth and stuff, just like any other woman would, mm -hmm. and yet she was birthing the Son of God, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and ooh, it's just a good, <laughs> wow, 
just a good song, yeah. and y'all need to come for that one song. Yeah. But yeah. this year, through that, the, the entire group, the family, it, the, all of them are coming, and they've won every award every imaginable. Award yes. And just two weeks ago, or last week, at the National Quartet uh, Convention, they got the uh, uh, favorite mixed group this year. Becky got the favorite uh, soprano, I think, what she sings. I'm not <laughs> uh, but they just got all kinds of, their album, I think, got an award, mm -hmm. just on and on and on. And then two months ago, they were asked to join the Grand Ole Opry. So Pretty about, awesome. Yeah, about Pretty a month awesome. ago, they had that ceremony. So this year just been a big, big year for the Isaacs. I would say right now they're the most sought after group mm -hmm. in the Southern Gospel. Mm -hmm. And and we've got them coming to the White Christmas. And they are <laughs> such a fantastic family. They are. They are such good people. They are just down to earth humble. We're, we're dealing with breast cancer month and <clears throat> Betty's Aunt Betty passed away. She had breast cancer. And one of the last things she wanted was to hear Lily Isaac sing. And yeah. so I went and interviewed <laughs> Lily and then took Aunt Betty the interview and she got to see it and she told her that she would be praying for her. And I said, that's the kind of people they are. Yeah, you right. know, they're not just these hoity-toity stars. Right. Right. They are anything but that. They're just right. down to earth, really, really good, good folks. We were in, we were in the process of doing a new CD and we were in Nashville. Uh, about a month ago, and uh, we were at uh, uh, Oak Tree Studios. Well, just down in the same building, of course, it's the building I'm talking about is bigger than anything in Cherokee County. It's just mm -hmm. a huge building. Mm -hmm. And Mike Huckabee's got an office upstairs, and in the, the studio we were in, and then down the hall was Ben Isaac's studio. Well, he He's a musical genius. Oh, yeah. Yes. And, and, the, and our producer, Trey, is just, I mean, he's just awesome. <coughs> but Ben come down and stuck his head in the door, you know. And that yeah. Yeah. You know, the meant a lot, yes. you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's uh, yeah. it's going to be exciting. Yeah. yeah, I'm excited. And, and you know, <clears> that's <throat> what you love about people who have it all are willing to share it all. Right. And that's that says volumes about you and how much people trust and love you because because you and Linda really started this on a wing and a prayer and many, many years you've carried it with yeah. a wing and a prayer. Well we had had no idea when we started we were bringing other groups in. Of course our daughter Christy was singing in the high school mm -hmm. uh, chorus group and so we'd bring in some of her friends and they would sing and and we would bring in locals. We never did have any mm -hmm. big time groups mm -hmm. up until the last 20 years or so. Mm -hmm. But we were bringing them in and then one year, uh, God had placed some people in our church, some men that could sing. Mm -hmm. uh, so I went to them and, and asked them about starting a quartet, you know, to sing at that year's White Christmas. That was in 2000. Mm -hmm. And we'd already been having the Christmas White Christmas for about 13 or 14 years. <clears throat> and they all agreed. And, and so we started practicing in September and to do that concert that first part of the December. Well, before we got to that, the word had already gotten out that, that I had formed a group mm -hmm. and started getting calls for, mm -hmm. from churches to come. Mm -hmm. And we actually did a church service before we got to the White Christmas. <laughs> And uh, Brian Huffman from uh, Blue, Blue Ridge, Ridge sang, yep. sang the, the baritone. Yeah. He's going to be there this year yeah. at the White Christmas. Uh, Randy Cook from Canton was the lead. Keith McNeil was the baritone. I uh, was the tenor, and of course I sang the bass. And uh, at our anniversary sing about a month ago in September, they all came. So I had the original group at our anniversary sing and sing. That was the week that we had all, two of them had COVID and I'd been exposed. Yeah. I'm like, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> it was, and it was just, I mean, they got up on all of the guys. I had several guys that came that had been with a group over the years and they all got up there just like they'd never left. Yeah, yeah, you know? that's awesome. 
That is, awesome. is good. Well, we're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, we're going to give you more information on how you can help with this event right. and how you can become a part of it. And then I've got to know where and why are you giving away 300 boxes of food. So we'll talk about that when yes. we come back. Y'all hang tight. We're going to take a commercial break. We'll be right back. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. Most of us are in touch with the internet in one way or another all day long. A fast, secure connection matters. It keeps us entertained, informed, in touch. ETC cares about your connection. We know strong, reliable internet with your choice of speeds makes life better. If you need an upgrade or just have a question, get in touch. Call or visit etcnow.com today. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. you were doing something even crazier than having a great gospel concert at the First Baptist Church of Canton. Right. You were going to be giving away 300 boxes of food. Yes, ma'am. Why? Well, we got a phone call uh, a couple of months ago from Serve International. Mm -hmm. Wanted to know if, if I, we, Glory Bound, would be interested in partnering with them. Well, we had lunch, and uh, he told me the story, and you know how I am. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I, I was teary-eyed, you know, and, and and just God just started dealing with me on it. So after a few days, I called him, and I said, yeah. I said, yeah. I, I want to know more. Yeah. And... Uh, Serve International is an international organization. Uh, they are home based out of Canton. They're all over the United States. They mm -hmm. have stores, and there's a store in Canton, that, and everything they bring in goes to the, to the ministry. They send out missionary teams all over the world. They have church starts all over the world mm -hmm. on a continuous basis, mm -hmm. and they give food to families in need through different venues and different events like like we're having mm -hmm. and so what we're doing and we this past sunday uh, at carmel baptist church in woodstock we did their homecoming service that's why i'm social distancing from him because i knew he'd been in a big church this weekend and i said he better not bring me no cooties <laughs> uh so we did we did the bo food boxes this sunday which was our first time mm -hmm. and i would just ask I was boo-hooing before the service ever started. Mm -hmm. uh, and so this year, at the White Christmas, uh, partnering with them, uh, 
uh, and with Sunlight Ministries. We're bringing in 300 boxes of food. Each box has 25 meals. Mm -hmm. So they're not little old bitty shoe boxes. These, mm -hmm. are, these are good sized boxes. Mm -hmm. And they're for families that are in need. Mm -hmm. uh, and anybody that comes to the concert that is, that is struggling and is having a problem, we want them to take that a box of food with them. If they're not struggling or Every, knows everybody everybody knows, somebody knows somebody has a family member or whatever and we want them to take if they know 10 families take 10 right. boxes the lions club was involved in something like that next door to us and i went over there and got seven boxes right. and took them to shut-ins or right. people who didn't drive anymore elderly folks and they were thrilled to death and it was all kinds of really good food uh, our so. concert is free uh, we will take up a love offering mm -hmm. for the white christmas uh, and Bob, let's add to this, it is tax deductible. It so is. all you corporations right. sitting out there, all you individuals right. who need a tax break, this is a way to spend your money right. and to truly give back. Right. We are a 501c3 Georgia Corporation, uh, Glory Bound Ministries Incorporated. Uh, and the only stipulation that we ask, and we ask, is if you take a box of food and you give it to John Doe family over here, you share Jesus with them, mm -hmm. and you invite them to church. Mm -hmm. the, the concert's going to be at Canton First Baptist. We're not necessarily right. asking them to invite them to, to Canton. Just, tell, just yeah. share Jesus with them. Yeah. Tell them, hey, or if you're not in church, you need to be in church. Mm -hmm. Get those kids in church. Because mm -hmm. in church, in a Bible-believing, Jesus-preaching church, mm -hmm. These kids are have an eternity hope. Yes. And it, when without it, yeah. they have no hope. Let me tell you about church. I got two of the cutest little boys that sit three rows up from me at church. They're so cute. I don't know if they're twins, but they're really close in age. They are so precious. And I said, it's such a joy to see children walk into church. Oh, yeah. I just, and they're always good, and they're, they're precious. Yeah. And I just, I, it does my heart good to see yeah. them coming in the door. I'm like, wow. Two of the last four or five churches that we've sang at over the last month were just full of kids. That's great. And and it that's you know, great. and it is great because that's yeah. your that's the church's future. Yeah. And and without them your church is gonna die. Yeah. yeah. You know, if you don't have if you don't have children and youth coming into your church It's tough. You you yeah, because the, the people Gray hairs are going to be you dying know, off. You know the Haynes family, and you know Justin out in Louisiana. Oh, yeah, you know, that, yeah. Yeah, and you know all they've been through with <clears> the hurricane. <throat> right. And every time you turn around, it's something, it's something, it's something. But you are like him. No matter what happens, you just come out of it. So yeah. if the valley comes in, you come out and you're back on the top of the mountain. Right. You've well, never felt like giving up on this project. No, it, I mean, they've been, it's been hard at mm -hmm. times, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, the real estate years that you weren't able to make extra money to help, right. that makes a difference too. Right. Because when the economy's bad and you don't find big donors or people who can let go of money, it, right. it makes it tough. And I've seen you and Linda struggle, but you never gave up. Yeah, it, it's, it's been tough at times. And and uh, speaking of Justin down in New Orleans, uh, Sir was taking them some food. So. Good, good, yeah. so, good. Uh, that, that's a good Such deal. a great family. He's he's the most <coughs> amazing preacher. He's have just, you ever had him on your show? I have not. We can never work it out, but I have one of his sermons that I sat on the front row at First Baptist, and I videoed it. Yeah. And I'm going to have the guys put it on YouTube for me, but I have to figure out how to capture it because I did it. I can't remember how I did it, and i, I got to get the gurus in here <laughs> to do it because to me, he always, you know how, y'all, you Baptist preachers know, you look at your watch when you start preaching because, you know, some old lady sitting out here on the back row has got a meatloaf in the oven. And then some other old lady has got a pork roast in the and oven. Somebody's and somebody's phone's going to go clock. off at 12 yeah. o'clock. <laughs> yes. And so Justin must not have a watch because that boy will preach to the preaching zone. Right. And he just tickles me to death. But he, he is, the first time I heard him preach was when he did Freddie's grandma's funeral, which is his grandmother. Right. And I was like, oh, my gosh, we've had church. We've had church, yeah. and it was just, he's amazing. He's amazing, and I know that Canton First Baptist helped sponsor him. Yeah, I still do. Yeah. yeah. And I I hope you can get him on, and, and some of your audience are going to say, oh, no, no, no. 
yeah. So he got a beard down to here, yeah. and he's, oh, yeah. he wears, he, 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 he yeah. wears, but he, he's in New Orleans. Right, and that's what he said. He said if he walked in with a suit and tie, they would, nobody, nobody come would in. respect his, what he's bringing to them. His, and what he's bringing is Jesus. His church is in a three-story building. Mm -hmm. And as far as I know, it's still this way. Uh, it, yes. They may have moved around, but uh, or, uh, his, his church hasn't moved, but in three-story building, they're on the top floor. Mm -hmm. On the bottom floor is a voodoo Satan church. Mm -hmm. And Jesus has planted him right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah. You know, you can't, yeah. and you talking about going into the that's den. That's the real deal. Yeah, and yeah. that's what yeah. we're supposed to do. We're yeah. not, Jesus yeah. didn't come to save the righteous. No. He come to save the sinners. Right. You know, so when. And that's when, what he said. If he had gone out there looking like the business executive, he would never have succeeded. He would not. And he's been out there what six, seven years. Yeah, about that. Yeah. 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 And, and and they. It's hard it's, for them. Yeah, and they they're growing. They, you know, and it's just, just he they just doing a wonderful job. It's amazing. Job. It's yeah. amazing, boy. Yeah. I just. Yeah. Uh, it, it blows my mind at all he has been able to accomplish. Yeah. And, and during times that things were lean and hard and, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's tough. Yeah. Of course, he comes from two of the best parents in yeah. the world. Grandparents, so, yeah. And grandparents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now, you're going to give the 300 boxes away. The concert right. is free, but we suggest that you bring your checkbook and you bring your heart and you think about right. what you can do for others. Right. Right. And we, that's what this is you. all about. That's what right. it's all about. Kids and, need you. And corporations, it right. is tax deductible. So if you're right. out there, if you have money, if you've made some money this year and you want to be able to share that, um, please be a part of this. You know, yeah. there are kids who, is there a cutoff ages at 14? No, not no. with not with this. Okay. I mean, if, if uh, well, if, if they're in their early 20s or whatever, oh, yeah. you know. Right. Uh, but you've if, always if they're to get if they're in their, if they're in that foster care age, mm -hmm. they're that's who we that's right. who we have. Right. And we have, like I say, we we not only do the the uh, serve international but sunlight ministries. Uh, so w through them, families are helped. Mm -hmm. Through serve international families. I had ahead. Sunlight Ministries on several years ago. Yeah, yeah. and it is just uh, amazing. Yeah, and, and I am so thankful that God has allowed Glory Bound Ministries, we partner with about eight other ministries, the, you know, the orphanage in Peru. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, my partner, my real estate partner is from Peru. And you talk about heartbreaking when you hear the stories that oh, she I, can tell you. Oh, yeah. Her mother's battling cancer right now in Peru. And she said, if yeah. my mother had just come to this country right. and let us gotten her help here. Yeah. But she insisted on staying in her country. Yeah, they, they have no, and that's why the COVID down there, well, all the South America countries mm -hmm. have been really hard hit right. because there's no, there's no She's vaccines. She's been battling cancer and, and COVID. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been tough. bad. It's tough. It's uh, tough. Well, we want to share some Glory Bound music because, uh, after all, he doesn't just work all the time. He sings a little bit, too. So we're going to share some Glory Bound music with you. And um, don't know what the guys have got queued up, but let's go now to a couple of songs by Glory Bound. And let's <coughs> see, um, right now, one of your guys that used to sing lead has been in the hospital with COVID or has had COVID. Brian, uh, Brad Cox. Brad Cox. Is still he is. Now? He's still in the hospital, still on wow. the ventilator. So please pray for him. Yes. Please pray for him. Yes. You talk about a voice and a vision. He can right. write songs. Y'all have seen his children here on the program with me. Right. Amazing, amazing guy and amazing talent. But he is fighting COVID right now. So yes. please pray for him. Here we go to some great glory bound music. And if y'all show up, if you're on Facebook and you want to show up for this event, you have an old car, sign up at 9 o'clock, uh, the ride is at 10, they're going to have a lunch and concerts at 11 15. It's $20 morning, per I month. I am gone from, from the spell of tears. I'm going home and home to live again. I am going on a trip when I say goodbye. Beyond the stars, I'll be 
top ride. Now, now they're not going to be a top ride. They're going to be a concert. people like you who don't just um, you know you, you do your thing you make your money you go sit on the porch well you do your thing you make your money and you give it to other people mm-hmm. and from the orphanage in Peru to the um, ministry with these children now 35 years into the works mm-hmm. and we think about 35 times 200 I wish I had my calculator out here that's a lot of kids you've helped yes. even if we did a minimum of 200 kids yeah it's Thousands, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, 70,000 maybe? Mm, no, not that many. 7,000, uh, I don't know. I wish I could do math better yeah, than that. Let's I'd, see. <laughs> <laughs> now y'all going to be Pro- looking. Probably, <laughs> uh, well, 200 would be 7,000. Yeah, so, about 7,000 kids. Yeah, 7,000 kids, you've yeah, made a difference. And, yeah, and yeah. money would be yeah. several hundred thousand. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, but wow. but that's all God. That ain't Bob Reese. That ain't mm-hmm. Glory Bound. That's that's all God. Seven thousand kids. Wow. Okay. We, have we got some more music queued up for Glory Bound? Okay. We're going to share a little bit more music. Just a little taste of what you will get when you go to the concert. And uh, I guess you'll be the opening act for the Isaacs, won't you? <laughs> that's pretty awesome. <laughs> I don't know who's going to go first. I've been, I've been flipping back and that. forward. Yeah. yeah you yeah, know yeah, either. Yeah. Either letting him go last, or they may want to go first. You know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you always save. I'm gonna say a bad word. The best for last. <laughs> when I'm showing real estate, I always start with the house that just ain't quite there, and yeah. then I end with the big yeah. to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I think all the groups are are, They're awesome. are the best. They're awesome. You know, but so the Isaacs are on top yeah. of their game. And so. then at the end of the end of the night, we'll get everybody up on stage together. At, together. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay, as well. here we go with a little bit more glory bound music. Never 
Happens on November the 13th. Right. Beginning at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Canton First Baptist Church. I'm going to make a suggestion. Get there early. Come to Ball Ground and go to Laura Mays and get yourself a sandwich and sit on the beautiful <laughs> porch in this historical house and then get in your car by 4 15 and drive to Canton and get there early if you want good seats because I think the seats are going to fill up. We're, we're hoping they are. We've got a, a full play. Uh, I can't talk this morning. Got a full page ad in the Singing News magazine this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we, we've been on radio and, and then now this. And so hoping we'll have a good good turnout. Been on I Facebook. Hope be packed, yeah. I, hope, I hope we have. And I hope more than that the people who come give. I, I'm right. going to tell you something that happened in front of me and it kind of upset <clears throat> me. I went to an event and it was. Um, Hall of Fame event. You were there, and uh, it was at the fellowship. Right. And I watched people pass the bucket and not put a dime in. Right. And right. I got ill. Right. Because I saw the cars they got there in, I saw right. the clothes they got in, right. I saw the jewelry they had on, and it really hurt my feelings. Right. Because we were at that point in time raising money for something really, really good and right. really, really special to my heart right. and I saw so many people pass the bucket and as a gospel music promoter I would always make up the difference when we did a love offering and for instance the Booth Brothers charged $6,500 I would make up the difference because it was right. a tax write-off for me right. but if you're there and you know you're there to raise money to help somebody please give right. And, and when you pass that bucket and you don't put something in it, somebody's watching. Right. He sees everything. Right. And it blows my mind to think that people would show up for a free event, a free meal, and not give back in any way. Right. That hurts my heart. Well, that, that was a good night, a good two nights. Uh, they raised quite a bit of money. and, right. and they those could have raised more. Could have raised more. And those of you that don't know, the uh, what that w event was for was for the Southern Gospel Hall of Fame, which has had been in uh, Dollywood for many, many, many years. But under new management, they were asked to to leave. They didn't renew their contract, mm -hmm. so they're in they're in the process of. Uh, they've already moved the stuff out of Dollywood. They've got it in storage, and they're in the process of looking for a venue that they can not only house the Southern Gospel Hall of Fame, but they can do events, mm -hmm. concerts and stuff within mm -hmm. the, you know, to help keep right. the keep it open. Because right. it's very important to for the history uh, of, of Southern Gospel and it's just, you know. At 14 years old, I heard Vestal sing. Yeah. And from that moment on, I was hooked. Right. And, and so I have a lot of friends who don't listen to gospel music at all. And so, and a lot of my friends that I used to bring to concerts have died off. Right. But I worry about after me, what's the next generation? Because right. the music is real 
But the message is more real than anything. Right, and it, it's changing. Some, a lot of your churches have <clears throat> done away with the convention, red book style mm -hmm, mm -hmm. singing, and gone to even done away with choirs, and gone to praise and worship. And they, I mean, I'm not down in that because I like some of that too. Mm -hmm. uh, but a lot of the uh, music that you and I grew up on is is fading away because we're yeah. fading away. Yes, you know, we're yes, getting older and dying seriously. off. <laughs> we, we didn't bring a generation behind us. No, and, and no. So we should have. Shame no. on us. And, and the, but the the young the young people that are that have bit into the southern gospel or some of the best that's absolutely. ever been in absolutely. it absolutely you know i mean yeah. there's some awesome southern gospel young yeah. folks but but overall uh within the christianity christian organ you know not organization but in christianity itself southern gospel is kind of fading away yeah and uh, that's the and it's my favorite music always will be my favorite music I, yeah. I went into bluegrass because i got involved with the barker brothers yeah. and those kids made me love bluegrass and right. i had never listened to bluegrass and yeah. now I, when you go out in there in my car you're gonna pick up a conway Twitty cd you're gonna pick <laughs> you're gonna pick up a um uh gospel bluegrass and i think it's the bill gaither one that he produced right. that's got some of the best gospel bluegrass in yeah, the world Yes, it, it's got some really good stuff on it. And I said, I never thought I would be sliding a bluegrass CD in my CD yeah. player, but I do yeah. it now. Yeah, it, it's, it's changing. It's changing, it's changing. yeah. But, yeah. Uh, but so I all the encourage... message hasn't changed. No, the message has not message changed. The message is always and will always be until he comes back. Yeah. Jesus I, Christ. <clears throat> in, I don't know what year, but I was 15. And I remember the song, Love Lifted Me, played, and I had been baptized as a child but I needed to be saved. I was baptized as a child but I was saved right. at 15 right. and I remember walking down that aisle in that church, Love Lifted Me played and it wasn't the pastor's message that day, it was the words in that song right. and so the song often will bring you know, you may be a woman who goes to church every Sunday and your husband never goes to church but that song and that message in a song may bring him to a point that you never thought you'd see him Right. So that music has done an amazing job of opening the doors to heaven and filling it with a lot of folks you wouldn't think about. Right. So. And, and we, and I know other groups do too, but we get somebody a call or you'll see them at church or you'll see them in Walmart or wherever you see them. And they, you know, that song y'all did, uh, Touch My Heart, was my mama's favorite, da 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 da. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't know how many times the song that we did in 2009, Place to Spend a Night, mm -hmm. I ain't no telling how many times oh my gosh. people have, I still played, get cold chills. Oh, have yeah. played that song at a loved one's funeral. Oh, yeah. And, you know, because we couldn't be there during the day, yeah. you know, yeah. through the week or whatever. Do you know Gene I mean, Tatum? Do you yeah. know Gene oh, Tatum? Yeah. He, he sang a song, Some Grew Call It Heaven, it. Some Call It Home. Yeah. And I, I get cold chills now thinking about it. Yeah. He sang that, and it just, I was like, whoa. Yeah. And then I got to know his sister Martha, and she sang yeah. for my mama's funeral, sang Far Away. Eddie played piano. And then she sang for my <clears throat> husband's funeral, Far Away is a land where there be no more heartache. And that song got me through those funerals. Yeah. It wasn't the preacher. It wasn't the friends. It was right. the music and the message of that song. Right, right. And, and, and I've been, and I know you have, and, and other groups have been at a church service, and preacher don't get a chance to preach. Because the, the church breaks out during the singing mm -hmm. section of the service mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. And preacher don't, you know, because the altar just starts filling up. Mm -hmm. and, and we done that. Uh, I mean, it's, and that's. Ooh, that's, that's, when awesome. Gets, that's awesome. That's awesome. when it gets good. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. before our time runs out, I want to. You mentioned Lee Greenwood. Mm -hmm. uh, that the song. Uh, God bless you. God bless you. We're doing that's on our new CD. Awesome. And we're doing it a cappella. Awesome. Yeah. 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 So. Uh, well, he touched so many hearts and so many lives, and I don't know yeah. if you know the story. He's been married for many, many years to the same lady. They have two amazing children, 
and um, their kids are, are awesome. And, and you just think about, you know, um, how many lives he has touched, how many people, how many women mm -hmm. whose son or daughter was in a war and, and they sit and they listen to that song and, and they have the reverence about it. Right. And then you see these people who have no reverence toward our flag or no reverence right. toward our fallen soldiers. And it's hard. Right. It's tough. <clears throat> it's tough. Well, at our services, we always ask for a show of hands of veterans and we give them a American flag lapel pin mm -hmm. uh, at all of our services. Awesome, awesome. Because that flag does stand for something, doesn't it? It does to me. It does to you. Now, you have, a, you were a veteran in what war? Vietnam. Vietnam. How many friends have you lost, Bob, because of Vietnam? Well, probably more. Agent they Orange. know probably more than with Agent Orange <coughs> when we were killed sure. on the battlefield. Yeah. And that's, that's my heart. Uh, problems that I've got mm -hmm. is from the Agent Orange. Right. So many, many more have been have died. Uh, they with, went to war. They did their job. They came home with something that continues to deteriorate. Right. Yep. And yep. and in most cases, like in my case, and 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 I mean close personal friends of mine. Uh, Forty years down the road before it actually shows up. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And now they're saying that it, that it, uh, your children, and up to, uh, I think five generations, mm -hmm. this stuff can show up, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it's it's a bad, right. bad thing. Yep. Yep. Well, we've got a DVD with some glory bound on it that we're going to share now because we want y'all to see this group. You not only get to hear them, you get to see them now. So here we go back to glory bound. Derek, Bailey, Bob, and Doug. Glory Bound! There is nothing like that joy of sweet salvation. No. Just to know my blessed Savior Reach way down from heaven's throne to me There is not a single debt to hold against me
Yes, I know it was the blood saving me. invite each and every one of you. Our time is almost up today, but November the 13th, please come to First Baptist Church Canton, beautiful, beautiful church, up on the top of the hill, on overlooking Home Depot, kind of, is that how you get there? Yeah. Sort of, kind of? Sort of, kind of. In a roundabout Teasley, way? It's next door to Teasley Middle School. Next door to Teasley Middle School, but we right. want to, to invite you, and please come, each and every one of you, come and be a part of this night. And if you love gospel bluegrass music, you are going to be thrilled because the Isaacs are going to be there. You are going to be thrilled because Glory Bound is going to be there. If you just love Christmas music and you want to get in a Christmas mood, it's going to be a Christmas program. And right. it's going to be really a lot of fun. Right. And more than that, it's going to be a lot of doing well for others. Blessing and others. Blessing others. Please bring your checkbook if you're able, if you can. If you can't, please send a contribution to Glory Bound Ministries, 267 New Light Road, Canton, Georgia, 30115. This ministry has gone on for a long, long time and has helped so many children. And I know that there's a day that a child will wake up without a gift. I know there's a day that there are children who will have nothing for Christmas. But it's been always, you and Linda have, have said, we're going to do all we can as we can, and you have never failed. We even have people come back now that are... Have been recipients. Yeah, that yes. was kids. Yes. Yeah, don't cry. He's <laughs> going to cry. Don't cry. <laughs> 
You know, we all ought to be able to give back. Yesterday, yeah. we started our program with a beautiful song called The Bright Side. We end our program every day with this song. Kaylee Shea Quentin was a beautiful, beautiful young lady from Jasper, Georgia. She was tragically killed on her wedding day. Right. Her song continues to bless you, and I've had so many people who ask about it. So yesterday, they're going to download the program on YouTube. So if you want to get that and you want to hear Kaylee Shea's whole song, you can go to our program from yesterday, and you will get to hear the whole thing. You know, it's about making a difference through music, and she did that in her young life. And even after her death, she continues to bless somebody. Because every single day, I say, no matter what I'm facing, I'm going to look on the bright side. And it's purely because she put words to a song and, and delivered it in a special way. And it just touches me all the time. And no matter what I've faced, I always think about it. I can get through this, and I'm going to look yeah. on the bright side. Yeah. And you have to. Yeah. You absolutely have to. Thank you for being here today. Well, I appreciate you letting Thank me you for everything you do for so many. I want to remind y'all, Cherry Log Festival is happening this weekend. And if you have not been to Cherry Log, if you go for one reason only, go to get a plate of food. They have amazing breakfast. They have amazing lunch. They have some of the best canned goods in the world. Cherry Log Festival is right on the corner off of 515. Um, very easy to find. There will be signs everywhere. It is an event that benefits that community, and you may not know it, but there's still a lot of poverty in the Cherry Log Hills. A lot of people who have problems paying their power bill, a lot of people who have problems providing groceries for themselves, and Cherry Log is one of those often forgotten communities, but they have a sweet little festival every weekend, in, or not every weekend, I think it's three weekends in October, and they've done it for many, many years. And I can tell you, the food is beyond fabulous. So mm. be there and, uh, you know, give back by making a purchase. The ladies make canned green beans. They make can they do jelly. They make all kinds of things that they sell at this event. And then they give back during the year. So mm. they help their awesome. local community. So be a part mm. of that. It's time for us to get out of here. Um, I hate to drive in rain, but it looks like I'm going to have to because yeah. I hear it on the roof yeah, right now. Yeah, it sounds like so it's coming down. We were hoping the rain would quit while we were on the air, but it didn't. Y'all be safe out there today. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your family. And remember what Kaylee Shea said? Look on the bright side. It will always help your day, and it will make you smile. Here we go. Amen. Bye, y'all. You got me.